Hey third graders, today we are going to be um, doing bubble art. And so there's two different ways we're going to be doing this. Um, if you are in the classroom and you have a black piece of construction paper, you're going to do it the first way. If you do not, um, if you're at home and you don't have black construction paper, you're going to do it the second way. So um, the first way and the second way are very similar, but there's just a few little different details that we're going to be doing. So it's really good if you watch both. Um, but the first way is going to be on black construction paper. The second way will be on white paper. So the first thing you're going to do is on your paper is you're going to draw some circles. Try to draw the best circles you can. If you have something in your desk, um, you can draw, trace the circles. Or if you have something at home, you can trace the circles. But it's always good to practice drawing circles. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw some circles. Little ones and big ones. Take your time. Try to make the neatest circles possible. You can even overlap a few circles. I wouldn't overlap too many, but you can overlap a few. Um, I like to make some of my circles go off the page. So I'm going to do that. It gives the paper more interest. So I don't have very many little circles. So I'm going to have a few little circles. Just like that. Right. So I have a bunch of circles on there. Then I'm going to switch to a white crayon. And I'm going to trace my circles with white which is good so you guys will be able to see too so on the black construction paper um bubbles you're gonna switch to white crayon just like so So our vocab word for this lesson while I'm tracing is reflection. Um, so bubbles, when they are in the uh, blown in the air or like you see bubbles in like a swamp or bubbles in the soap from the dishes or a bubble bath, they are shiny and any object that's shiny reflects color. So the bubbles reflect the color of the room or objects near. So if we're blowing bubbles in school, we're gonna have a bunch of different colors because a lot of classrooms are really colorful. Um, if you blew bubbles in a room that was like all one color, you're gonna see only that color. So I would like everybody to do rainbow bubbles because it's more fun. So there's my picture um, with all the, the, the circles outlined. Then I'm gonna take various different crayons. We're using crayons for this. Um, I'm going to take like a, oh, a blue, pink, a green, a purple, a yellow. Actually, I'm going to switch out my green to a brighter green. What am I missing? Um, orange. So the rainbow colors and a red. So I want to use these colors, all right? And I'm going to be coloring around the bubble's edge. So I'm gonna get around, and then I'm gonna switch to a different color. I'm not gonna color the whole thing around the thin color. So you color around. That, and then I'll switch. And then my paper so it's easier to color. The purple doesn't show up very well, but I'll switch to green. came out really good on um, black paper and then a little pink so I just did the rainbow colors all the way around the edge just like so then I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna pick a few colors and I'm gonna go lightly around it again not lightly not go dark because it's showing it's um that it's three-dimensional when we go a little bit lighter so I'm not gonna do all the colors, just a few of the colors that I thought popped out real well. Um, all right, 
Then I'm going to go back in with my white crayon and I'm going to add in a highlight. Just like so. And then I'll add in a little bit of white on the edge too. Just so it looks like it, it's highlighted. See? So that's how you draw a bubble. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to do the exact same kind of thing on this bubble. And these are overlapping. So you kind of have to just ignore um, that they're overlapping. And just do the same thing over top. So there's some blue. I just dropped my white crayon. There's some orange. Pink. Take your time um, and don't rush because it looks so much neater if you take your time and you're not rushing. Um, then I'm going to go back in and do another layer of more color. Get a little of that purple. Didn't add the first layer. Um, I really like how this orange pops. I'm going to add more orange. Um, and then some green and I went I'm supposed to go a little later on the second layer of color okay then I'm gonna go back in I dropped my white set so to pick it up right, I have to go back in with my white and I'm gonna add a highlight so and then I'm gonna add a little bit more white on the edges so there's two bubbles now I'm not gonna do the whole paper that would be a lot of time um, you're going to do one side of the paper and then if you have a more time, you can do the second side of the paper. Um, but there's one more thing I want you to add. So you could draw this in pencil first, but because I'm just going to draw it in crayon, you can make some of your bubbles look like they're popping. And so you just draw a little bit of marks around like that. And then you can draw like a few dots and it makes it look like you're popping. You can even add a little color if you want. Add a little green for it to look like it's popping, just like that. So you can do some of those pop bubbles around there too. So have fun with this uh, version. But if you're at home, you're like, I don't have black construction paper. How do I do this? Well, we just have a little bit of a different step, and I'm just going to show you that real quick. I can pick up my white paper. So you're going to be drawing just like the other. Uh, I'm dropping crayons everywhere. You're gonna just drop draw, draw circles again, just like I had everybody do on black construction paper. Um, just different regions. That is not a very good bubble, but it's all right. Bubbles are not always perfectly circle either. They're smooth, but sometimes they're a little bit off shape. Just if you're blowing a bubble. And then I'll just have a few off the paper too. Just like I did with the black paper. Right, let me pick up my crayon real quick. Alright. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a blue crayon. Okay. If you have a light blue, that's gonna work best. If you don't have a light blue, just use the best blue crayon you got. Um, but I'm gonna go with light blue. So instead of outlining in white, you're gonna outline in blue. Just like that, outline the blue. Then you're gonna take um, take a pencil. I forgot to do this. Do you want to add um, your draw in your reflection here, highlight? Okay. Then you're gonna lightly, very lightly, color the whole bubble in blue. Very lightly. Put very little pressure. If you go too dark, you could take in your it's crayon. Um, you could take an eraser and try to erase some of it. If you go too dark, it'll make it lighter. Also, if you don't have crayons and you're using colored pencils, same thing. Just go really lightly. Take your time. Um, pencil takes a little longer. So you're going to go really lightly. Just 
Okay. So that real light. All right. Then I'm going to do the exact same thing I did before on the black construction paper. And I'm just going to color in some of those colors on the edges. Now all my colors on here are going to pop real good because it's not black paper. So I'll show up that purple should show up really nice this time. back over and I'm gonna lightly color some more color on top just to blend it all in I might even use some of that blue and go a little bit darker and blend some of that and then so just like the the other bubble we're reflecting the colors that we see so um and you can do the same thing with um the pop bubble. So I'm not going to show you all the bubbles because of time. I don't want the video to be too long. And it's very similar to the other um, bubbles where if you overlap, you just do the same thing where you kind of ignore it um, and you just do it a second time. But the pop bubbles are a little different. I'm going to actually draw and pencil the pop bubbles. And then I'll take my blue crayon. So like in the black paper, we use white crayon. And in the white paper, we're gonna use a blue crayon. Okay, so there's that. Um, and then you can go in with some extra color if you want. The orange is so pretty next to that blue. If anyone doesn't know why, it's because they're complementing colors. And they just complement each other. So there you go. So on the black construction paper, you're going to outline with white crayon. Um, you will not color it in solid like I did with this one. Um, you just color the colors on the edges. Um, and then on this one, you're, if you're white paper, you're going to color with uh, blue crayon. You're going to lightly color it in all blue except for the highlight. And then you'll do the same thing with the colors that you put in. So these are both ways to do um, bubble projects. So remember on the if you're in the classroom, you should be, be given um, black construction paper by Mrs. Keefe, and she will make sure that you have the supplies you need. So you'll be doing the front side first, and then when you have extra time, you'll do the back side. Um, if you are at home you're, and you don't have black construction paper, you can do the white, and you can do both sides as well. Also, if you do have extra time in either at home or at school, you guys can use the same technique with bubble letters, but writing your name. Let me show you that real quick. Um, I'll do it on the back. So if I wrote my name in bubble letters, if I know how to write bubble letters, like I can write bubble letters really well. I've done it for a long time, like that. But if you don't know how to do bubble letters, you can write your name um, like you would normally write it. And then you would just go around it. So like something like that. But write your name in bubble letters and then do the same thing that you were doing with the bubbles. And you guys would be able to um, practice that technique if you have extra time. So again, I would outline on the white paper in blue. And then I would do all that coloring. I would have a highlight too. So I would have all that coloring. And I'm not gonna show you the whole thing um, again, cause I really just don't want you guys to miss out on any extra art time. So go ahead and um, get started. And if you have extra time, you can have fun with this. All right, so that is um, our lesson today. Remember our vocabulary was reflection. And I'll talk about the EQ and the ICANN on um, the whiteboard. So, have a good day. Bye, guys.